Alright, so welcome back to the editing part of the how to make a cinematic scene. So if you haven't watched the planning and shooting version, make sure to check it out first. Okay, now I am at the DaVinci Resolve. I already cut the part I don't need. So this is scene A and this is scene B. So one tip right here. You want to cut your footage before you color grade and that way timeline will be lighter and that makes your color grading much smoother. So there are scene A and scene B. Actually, this scene A will be the first thing that people will see. So I'm going to give it color first and I'm going to copy the you know, color grading of this and paste on you know, this one. So basically what I'm going to do is same as color grading of this video. So if you want to know more detailed stuff, here's the video. Here I will explain this roughly. Okay, first let's build a node tree. Okay, create the one serial node. And this one goes up. So this will be the noise reduction. I'm going to do deal with this later. And this one is the primary. And create one more serial node. And this one will be balance. And one more serial node and the layer node. So this will be look and this will be skin. And create one, two, three nodes. And th those are going down. And this one will be a vignette. And this is our grain. And the last one is adjustment. So this is going to be my node tree this time. So first I'm going to start from this primary and I'm going to do the contrast. Just give it a basic contrast. But not too much because you're going to kill the detail here because this is low light. So I'm going to stop right here and also pivot. Make the total image more brighter. Something like this. So the image is really dark, right? So my main mission is make this brighter and save the detail. So first I'm gonna bring this offset up, just like this. And those three wheels will be so important. You know, I'm not gonna do not just one by one. I will be going around those wheels a couple of times to you know open this parade. I mean, you know, to give it contrast, to open the image more. So I'm going to start off this gang. I'm just gonna bring it up just like this. Now I lifted those parade up a lot. So I'm gonna do this lift and take care of the shadow, the bottom line of this parade. Just a little bit because I don't wanna crush it that hard. Let's stop right here. And for the face, I'm gonna bring this gamma up. Let's do something like this and going back to gain just a little bit and lift down a little bit i think it's good and as the little spice i'm gonna do this log shadow which allows you to control the bottom line of this parade like at the darkest area of this image so i'm just gonna bring this shadow down see now image is getting more like a punchy sharp block like this and at last i will gain saturation Okay, something like this will work. So this is before, after, before, and after. So now I get the basic contrast and saturation, but image, I mean, the color is shifting kind of weird, right? So looking at this parade, this blue is lifted down compared to this red and green. And also this bottom part of this red is lifted up compared to green and blue so i gotta fix this i gotta balance it on this balance node so the first thing i'm gonna deal with this blue you know gamma kind of gain part so i'm just gonna move this gamma to kind of magenta side so watch carefully you know this uh, parade this blue parade so i'm just gonna go up just like this and also this lift i mean this part i'm just gonna going down and adjust this gamma a little bit okay i think this looks much better so this is before after before after so next let's give it my taste to this image by this look node so like i said in the last video this scene represents mystery and thriller 
So I want to use green power to express that feel. So zooming into the shadow, there is still red and I want to get rid of them. So I'm going to move this log shadow to green side to reduce the red from the shadow. So it's very easy. I'm going to grab this point and going down. Okay, look good. Before, after, before, and after. And overall, I want to shift the color to green more. So using this mid tone, and I'm going to move this to green side all the way. Just like this. So this is before, after, before, after. And here, let's save the skin tone. So I'm going to use this window and circle window. I'm going to cover face and this hand just like this and make it softer and no need to track it because the face doesn't move that much so i think this will work without tracking okay and going to qualifier hit the shift plus eight to highlight and sample the skin just like this and start selecting only the face i think it'll be easy just like this okay so add a d noise and blur radius okay hit shift plus a to go back to a normal image so once i did the qualifier process i'm gonna go to curve and make point on middle and shadow i'm just gonna bring the middle up just like this slightly because i don't want to you know make it obvious i want to make it natural and also bring the shadow down to give it a little bit of shadow on this face just like this and moving to hue versus hue and i want to shift this red to yellow side because now face you know pops out too much you know make this face you know go along with the total vibes so i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and shift this red to yellow if i do like this you know it'll be like this but Finding a sweet spot, which is around, I guess here, and it fits in the you know, total vibes right now. And also to make it more like a mystery, you know, serious stuff, going to hue as a set, reduce the saturation uh, from this red and yellow. Okay, it looks good. And at the final process of this skin. I'm gonna lower this mid-tone detail to make it more, uh, to make this face more creamier, just like this. Now it's too rough. Okay, good. So this is before, after, before, and after. Much better. All right, so here, this vignette node, I'm gonna relight the scene. So again, using this window tool and circle window, and this time I'm gonna do something like this. So. Like I said in the you know, shooting video, the light is hitting from this side, right? I'm gonna buy the Ninja 200 LED light. So the light direction is from here to here. So I wanna like I, uh, emphasize that light here, cover the light line and like this. So the light hits the face and make it softer just like this and going to curve bring this up something like this before after before after now it's more dramatic so here the important part of this kind of low light scene which is a uh, noise reduction so now zooming to this image there are a lot of noises and some colors are broken right now so i want to get rid of it so using noise reduction right here. So I'm gonna change frame to three and the motion type is better. The motion range is uh, medium, yeah. Most of the time, three better and medium work good. But if the scene has a lot of motion, you wanna change this motion range to large. So threshold, uh, just keep it under like a 10. So I will do like five and six. See, already much cleaner. So this is before. A lot of noises and after much better and also i'm gonna uncheck 
this and only using this chroma see I will do something something like this will work okay so next I want to give it uh, extra film look texture so I will apply the film grain so just search grain and apply this on grain node so basically you can choose whatever you want but I like 60 mil I just want to change those a little bit so let's say change grain size a little bit smaller just like this but that's it so let's check it out okay, this is before and after and at the last I will do the small final adjustment on this adjustment node so basically take care of the contrast again right here so I'm just gonna only use this curve so I'm gonna make points on middle and shadow so first I'm gonna pop this middle up a little bit basically this is for the face so I'm just gonna go up just like this this okay and bring the shadow down a little bit good and this is the key bring this lowest shadow up okay just watch carefully around around this image so if i go like this you can get that kind of faded black you know what i mean but this is obvious so i'm gonna find a good spot what about like this? So this is uh, before. Kind of flat, but after. More like a natural, you know what I mean? Especially this shadow part. I think I can go up a little bit more like this. So I think the combination of this faded shadow and film green is, you know, is the golden, like, the golden for film look you know this is my personal preference and opinion but i like those combination so now i'm done with this scene a so i'm gonna right click on this and grab steel and going to the scene b here so what i'm gonna do is the paste the color grade i copied on this so to do that go to gallery and right click and apply grade so once i do this yeah, the color is so weird. First, I'm gonna turn off this noise reduction and grain because you know it'll make you know it'll make uh, the timeline slower. So I'm just gonna turn off those and let's fix this. Other things except balance is good, I think. So I'm just gonna uh, deal with only balance. So I want the scene A, scene B side by side. So just click on this. And I can check the scene A here and the scene B right here. And you can move the center point like this. And obviously, it's so different, right? The contrast is good and the other thing is good. But, uh, you know, balance is so crazy right now. So I'm going to undo this balance node. And let's think, okay, the green and blue too much. Red is less. And the bottom line is kind of weird. Anyway. It's like stairs, red, green, blue, something like this. So I gotta fix this. So first, obviously, I'm gonna deal with this gain. And what I'm gonna do is add more red. I mean, push this red up. Like, make this red, green, blue more even. Like I did on the scene A. So I'm just gonna bring this to, bring this up to red like that and let's see let's see i'm gonna move this gamma to red side too okay looks good much closer and looking at the bottom line this red is pushing forward a little bit so i'm gonna you know make it you know more down so lift goes down okay like this what about this yeah, it's much closer this color and this color is much closer and the black is almost same but the skin tone is is not same so i'm gonna deal with the skin again so lee just uh, adjust this uh, mask position like this good and shift plus h and go to qualifier undo denoise blur radius and select the skin again Okay, just like this and add denoise 
blur radius. Good, shift plus H. So a problem of this skin tone is it's too pale, right? So we need more saturation and we need more red feel. So going to the hue versus saturation force and I'm gonna bring it up. And the hue versus hue. Let's see. Let's do like this. Just side by side, compare. Ah, too pale steel. Okay, let's use gamma right here. Now I think it's much closer. I think I'm gonna stop right here. Yeah, much better. And do the mid and detail a little bit more. Just like this. I mean, let's select the balance in skin. And before, after, before, after. Huge difference. And turn on this grain, turn on this noise reduction. So now the color grading process is in finish. That's it for color grading. Okay, so jumping to Premiere Pro. So now you are seeing the completed the timeline. So this pink layer is adjustment layer for uh, this uh, black bars top and bottom. And this magenta is a black video. And those blues are the actual footage. And greens are audio from them. The purple is voiceover and the brown is uh, music and the yellow is sound effect. So actually the structure is very simple. I didn't use a bunch of sound effect. Instead of it, I used the actual audio from the camera as the environment sound. So the first thing I did was to add the black bars on top and bottom. So basically, so just using this crop effect and add 60% on top and bottom. If your timeline is normal, like 3840 by uh, 2160 4K or uh, 1920 uh, 1080 1080p, just add 10 to 12%. That will give you good black bars, top and bottom cinematic bars. But my timeline is 3840 by 1920, which generate uh, originally like a black bars, top and bottom. So I just did 6%. That works. So the way it started is gradually dissolving to this first scene, right? The way to do this is so simple. Just create black video like this and apply it on the very beginning and add cross dissolve and adjust the length of it that's it now you can get kind of a very cinematic way to you know, open the film just like this and to go along with this cross dissolve from this uh, black video i made a volume keyframe on this uh environment sound from the camera so what i did is very simple at the very beginning i just made a one keyframe and all the way down like it's completely silent and moving to the point where the dissolve ends which is around here and made another keyframe zero so now this environment sound gradually gains volume going along with this dissolve. So just play it. Totally match something like this. Very simple and easy, but it's definitely useful and effective for like opening your film. So now you may have noticed already, but the audio from scene A is at track two, but the audio of the scene B is in the track one. And this part is crossing each other. The reason is if I go to the audio of scene B from uh, scene A, there is the obvious transition noise, something like this. This, this sound. I don't want that. I need it to be more smoother. So what I did was on this scene A audio, I made a one volume keyframe right before the end of clip zero and moving to at the very last of this clip and made another keyframe all the way down. It's completely uh, silent right now. That way this scene A audio is gradually losing its uh, volume like this. like this. And also using this scene B audio from this point 
and made a keyframe right here and all the way down completely silent and going to this uh, crossing part this transition point and made another keyframe zero so this way this uh, CMB audio is gradually you know, gaining the volume something like this something like this so if those two sound at the same time something like this much smoother also i added a couple of effects on this environment sound first to reduce the noise i added the denoise four percent like this and also parametric eq so basically what i did was cut the low and high and some of middle to you know make it more smoother sound and also boost this high point to get kind of sharp like sharp sound and also i added the compressor just select voice over like this and now you're good to go so if you need to change the volume i recommend you to change it by this output gain so that's it for sound editing so once i made sound setting i just select those copy and paste on the cmb audio and also voice over and here is the music so this time i chose kind of weird one tone one note music i didn't want any melody stuff you know actually this in choosing music part is you know, tough it'll take some time to you know find the best music for your project but take some time because music you know changes a lot music changes a mood a lot and i changed the volume to negative 18. you know i didn't want to exaggerate this music but also i wanted this to be there at least so the volume of music is also important especially if you have other sounds like voiceover and those environment sound you gotta find sweet spot among those and scene just keeps going and at the last in this scene b there is a talking part and i wanted to make some kind of like a gap like this part is very cinematic but after this talking part is kind of like rough casual it's kind of youtube stuff so i wanted to make some gap between this cinematic part and this talking part and actually from this point i started to talk so at this point i just cut the this uh, adjustment layer this black bars i don't need this for this talking part and also i don't need uh this music for this talking part but i want to like emphasize this gap so how do i do this it's easy so around this point like i right before the cinematic part ends i just made a one keyframe on this music negative 18 and going to at the last of this music which is where the cinematic part ends and made another keyframe zero so that means this music gradually gains the volume so let's hear it only music something like this so this way music can gradually gain the volume and also uh, this can make audience gains their motivation and concentration on this scene so this is an easy technique for you know volume keyframe is very effective so at the end of this scene b i mean after the scene b this uh talking part starts so how do i end this scene b and how do i start this talking part right after that very easy use a sound effect especially whoosh sound whoosh sound is something like this something like this you know i use a lot right you know that so what i did was just mark at the the peak of this ooh sound and place it at between this scene b and talking part like this and let's hear it this kind of cinematic scene and let's stop this nonsense so last time i introduced like this so this ooh sound is very effective and useful for changing the scene dramatically so at the last let's watch those scene with timeline don't do it or do it do i really am i doing this okay if i do it what's gonna change 
But what if I don't? Did I stop the water? I feel I forgot. Come on, focus. But if I think about it carefully, it might be a good thing. So, do I do this? Yeah, I do. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this kind of cinematic scene. And let's stop this nonsense. Okay, so I hope it helps you somehow. So this time, editing was so simple. I mean, color grading was not that simple, but it was so important to help the story, you know, to express what I wanted to. But the sound design was actually very easy. I think it was easier than you thought. But if you just care about audio volume and position, transitions, those stuff, you can make the scene look good without a bunch of effect, without a bunch of uh, time spending editing, as long as you have the basic. So what I want to tell you through this video is no matter what you create the base, which is the word comes first, it's more important. If you don't have it, it'll be just empty creative content. We are human, just you know, take care of the word. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions about this video, don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And today's topic is pretty much it. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, show me a thumb and uh, hit the subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. I mean, next video will be. Ma ikka ni hongo shibu ka. Tsugi no doga wa tabun nenmat saigo no sakuhin ni naru kana. Ima totte n desu yo. あ,のある作品を作っていてそれをまあ最後にやるからそれが最後かな来年はねそういうのいっぱい作っていきたいですねまあまあこういうチュートリアルはもしかしたら減っていくかもしれないけどその代わりもっとこうまあね芸術性のあるものをやっていけたらなと思いますんでまあこうやって喋るのはこの動画が意外と最後かもしれないっていう全然30秒かかってなかったけどまあいいやとりあえず皆さん良いお年をハッピーニューイヤー Have a, a good holiday. Ja. Yeah.